He was sent off to Manchuria. That's how this tale began. His first assignment in the diplomatic corps was far off Lithuania and the European war. My grandfather was from Krakow. Nazis came, he fled. He took a stand in the villains so they might not end up dead. But the Panzers were advancing, and he knew he had to go, but he had to have a visa. And all the embassies said no. There was only one final possibility. The last consulate left open, the third Reich's Asian power. There in Lithuania, there was no time to lose. They came looking for a visa. Thousands of Polish Jews. The diplomat called Tokyo. Can I grant them this for free? Three times he got his answer. Tell them all to leave. He looked into their eyes, talked to his family. He and his wife decided we must set these people free. Although I never knew it, when all is said and done. Disobeying orders that they knew to be wrong. Semple and Yukiko started writing all day long. Months worth of pieces in every 20 hour day. Semple and Yukiko could turn no refugee away. Word came from the Empire, it's time to turn it in. You're closing down your consulate and moving to Berlin. They knew they did the right thing. Of this they had no doubt. They threw pieces out the window as their train pulled out. Although I never met him, when all is said and done, I am Suihara's son. My grandfather crossed Siberia four or five times the normal course, fearing for the future. With every minute lost, he got the ferry to Kobe. Then to occupied Shanghai. There he spent the war years while back home his people died. Sugihara san did not seek praise from anyone. When he died, the papers said his neighbors knew not what he done. There are 40,000 people living lives today. Without some Sugihara, I'd not be here now. Say, although I never knew.